Beautiful Girlfriends of Magic Johnson. The Showtime Lakers' impact extended beyond the basketball court. Their electrifying gameplay, spearheaded by Magic's innovative plays and Abdul-Jabbar's unstoppable skyhook, brought Hollywood spectacles to Laker games, attracting fame and attention. Magic Johnson, in particular, embraced his role as the face of the Lakers, gaining fame beyond basketball, including being noticed for his personality, lifestyle, and attracting many admirers. Magic Johnson is a name that rings a bell not just in the basketball court, but also in the bustling streets of Hollywood. His on-court performances were nothing short of magic, indeed earning him a spot among the greatest point guards ever. His Showtime style was a spectacle, a blend of record-breaking assists and dominance that left fans and opponents alike in awe. But the magic didn't stop there. Off the court, he was just as dazzling, if not more. The spotlight of Hollywood, while adding a dash of glitz and glamour to his career, also brought its fair share of pressure. But true to his name, Magic handled it with grace and charm. His infectious charisma was a magnet, attracting the basketball and the ladies. But hey, who could resist the charm of a man who could make a basketball dance like a puppet on a string? As the saying goes, Magic Johnson didn't just run the show, he was the show. So how good was Magic Johnson? Well, let's just say he was so good that even Hollywood couldn't resist his charm. And the women? Well, they were just part of the Magic show. But remember, behind every great man, a woman woman is rolling her eyes. Let's play Full Court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. Janet Jackson. A picture paints a thousand words. And in the case of a particular photograph from 1983, it sparked a thousand rumors and inquiries. When you take a picture, it never goes away. And when you put that said picture on the internet, it's never going away. This photograph, taken at the American Music Awards in Los Angeles, features none other than basketball legend Magic Johnson and pop icon Janet Janet Jackson sharing a friendly kiss. At the time, Magic Johnson was 24 and at the height of his basketball career, while Janet Jackson was a budding 16-year-old star. Despite the age difference, the image of them together stirred curiosity among fans and the public alike. However, it's important to note that there is no evidence of them being a couple. The photograph, now part of the Guy Crowder collection at California State University's Northbridge Tom and Ethel Bradley Center, captures a notable moment in history. It offers valuable insights into the intersection of sports and entertainment in the African-American community, reminding us of a time when Magic Johnson's popularity was soaring and Janet Jackson was just beginning to make her mark in the music industry. Kathleen Sullivan Kathleen Sullivan, CNN's first female anchor, was rumored to have been in a relationship with Magic Johnson from 1985 to 1987. Born on May 17, 1953 in Pasadena, California, she gained fame as CNN's first female anchor in the 1980s, breaking barriers and setting a precedent for women in the news industry. Her dating history includes encounters with athletes like Julius Irving, Magic Johnson, and Lawrence Taylor. The alleged relationship between Sullivan and Johnson lasted from 1985 to 1987, but like many rumors in the world of sports and entertainment, the details remain vague and unconfirmed. Heather Hunter The story of Heather Hunter and Magic Johnson is one that's been shrouded in rumors and speculation. Heather Hunter, a former adult film actress turned singer, and Magic Johnson were rumored to have had a connection. The rumor mill went into overdrive when three tabloids, The National Enquirer, The Star, and The Globe, named Heather Hunter as a sex partner of Magic Johnson. Heather Hunter, however, vehemently denied these claims. She stated that she had never had a sexual relationship with Magic Johnson and that these publications had wrongly portrayed her. Heather Hunter took legal action against the tabloids in response to these allegations. She sued each of them for five million. Heather Keisha Hunter, also known as Double H, is a woman of many talents. Born in New York, she initially gained recognition in the adult film industry, becoming one of the most popular stars in the adult film industry. Her career began with Heather Hunter on Fire in 1988, and she became the first black female to be under contract with Vivid in 1990. However, Heather's talents extended far beyond her early career in adult film. She is a multifaceted artist involved in music, painting, and writing. After her adult career, she ventured into music Music, collaborating with artists like Esham, Cool Keith, Noor, Bubba Sparks, and Above the Law. She even gained recognition for her appearance on Bubba Sparks' single, 
would you like? Heather's passion for art led her to establish ArtCore NYC, an art gallery in Brooklyn. She also co-authored a novel titled Insatiable, The Rise of a Porn Star, with Michelle Valentine crafting a fictionalized account inspired by her own experiences while preserving others' privacy. Heather Hunter identifies as a bisexual woman and has had relationships with individuals of both genders. Despite her public career, she keeps her personal life private, maintaining confidentiality about her relationships and marital status. Cookie Johnson. Magic Johnson and his wife, Cookie Johnson, have a love story that has stood the test of time, overcoming numerous challenges and emerging stronger. They first crossed paths at a party during their first year at Michigan State University in 1977. Their connection was instant, and they began a relationship that would span over four decades. After dating for several years, the couple decided to tie the knot in 1991. Just 45 days after their long-awaited wedding, everything changed. Magic Johnson told Cookie Johnson that he had been diagnosed with HIV. Though he contracted a disease with so many unknowns at the time and had to retire from basketball, his only worry was his wife. And there were even more life changes ahead for their family. And Cookie had just found out she was pregnant, a discovery that sent shockwaves through their lives and the sporting world as a whole. Despite the emotional turmoil, Cookie chose to stand by Magic's side, demonstrating a level of courage and commitment that is truly inspiring. The diagnosis had a significant impact on Magic's basketball career. This led to his retirement from the sport in 1991. He has consistently stated that he believes that he contracted the virus from unprotected sex. Since his diagnosis, Johnson has become an advocate for HIV awareness and prevention, using his platform to educate others about the virus and importance of safe sex practices. However, with Cookie's unwavering support, Magic didn't let his setback define him. Instead, he used it as a catalyst to raise awareness about HIV AIDS and contribute to the fight against the disease. Cookie serves as the secretary of the board of directors for the Magic Johnson Foundation, an organization dedicated to addressing health, social, and educational needs in underserved communities. She actively supports the fight against HIV AIDS by raising awareness and providing prevention tools, a cause close to her heart given her husband's diagnosis. In addition to her philanthropic work, Cookie is a successful businesswoman. She developed a popular line of jeans called CJ by Cookie Johnson, which even caught the attention of media mogul Oprah Winfrey. Cookie's personal journey and experience have been chronicled in her memoir titled The Book Provides an Intimate Look into Her Life, including the challenges and triumphs of standing by her husband for over 25 years after his HIV diagnosis. Magic Johnson, the legendary basketball player, is a father to three children. His oldest son, Andre, was born in 1981 with his ex-girlfriend, Melissa Mitchell. The pair reportedly dated while he and Cookie Kelly were on one of their numerous breaks. Mitchell raised Andre in Michigan, but Magic never neglected him, and the pair's relationship remained solid. He later married Erlitha Cookie Johnson, with whom he has two children, EJ, born in 1992, and Elisa, their adopted daughter, born in 1994. In the grand game of life, Magic Johnson has been dribbling past obstacles with the same finesse he once displayed on the basketball court. His HIV diagnosis in 1991 could have been a full stop, but instead, it became a semicolon in his life's narrative. With the advent of the AIDS cocktail treatment in 1996, he found a lifeline that not only extended his life, but also allowed him to continue his legacy off the court. And how did he manage to have three wonderful kids? Well, some might say it's because he's just magic, but the real magic lies in his courage, resilience, and the love he shares with his family. He's not just Magic Johnson, the basketball legend. He's Magic Johnson, the devoted father and husband. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel full court. But before we end this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At full court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com, and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description.